This is Sandy Sherwood, District Superintendent of Herkimer Boses, wishing all our CTE graduates congratulations and best wishes in your career. I'd also like to thank all the dedicated teachers in the CTE wing and also all the parents who helped this year. Our nation seems to be on the brink of many changes. Be part of the solution. Use your head, your heart, and your hands to build a better tomorrow. Congratulations. Boses, class of 2020. You made it through a crazy year, nobody saw it coming. Some of you faced some serious hardships and challenges, but one thing is certain, you are here today to graduate. For your graduation, I just wanted to say, when I was in college, I wasn't exactly happy with the direction I was going in my life. And then I saw Deadliest Catch, looked like fun, bought a plane ticket to try it out, the rest was history. Started speaking in my off season, and I didn't see it coming, but I made it, it turned out to make it a career speaking at schools all across the country. Absolutely love it and truly feel fulfilled, especially when someone comes up to me telling me that I made a difference on that. On your journey, there are gonna be times when you're absolutely certain of what you wanna do and where you wanna go. And then there will be times where you're unsure of what next step you wanna take. My advice, listen to yourself act on the decision you feel is right in that moment. And regardless of the decision you made was or was not right for you, by you making that decision what felt right in that time, you will be one step closer to realizing where you actually want to be. Most importantly, you earned the right to say, I did it my way. Berkham Boses, class of 2020. Hats off to you. Congratulations, class of 2020. These last few months have certainly been different, but you remained focused and made it. A word that comes to my mind as you exit our programs is resilience. You persevered during an uncertain time. Use your resiliency as you venture into the world. Take uncertain times and make them a challenge that you overcome. May your future be filled with much success and happiness. Best wishes and again, congratulations. First thing I'd like to do, guys, is congratulate you guys on graduating. Um, it's a great accomplishment. It's your first steps in life of becoming an adult. Um, you're starting to probably realize what type of person you're going to be the rest of your life, and hopefully this is a good choice as you're making, and that uh, you guys have a great future, which I know you will. Um, one little quick life lesson I want to give you guys before I let you go is that uh, I just want to remind you guys, like I did in my past lessons, that uh, don't be a what -ifer. You know, If you have an opportunity out there in front of you, Grab it, seize it, and go for the ride. Um, you don't want to go five years, ten years from now and say, geez, what if that one time I, I tried this one thing, or the, or let's say, for example, uh, you, you wanted to go on this one trip or had this job opportunity, go for it. I mean, it's your life, guys. Ride it, and uh, you'll have a great time, and I'm proud of you. Um, the school's proud of you guys. And uh, I appreciate having you guys in my senior class. And uh, best of luck and stay in touch. Thank you, guys.
Automotive Class of 2020. I want to take this time to congratulate you and hope that you are very proud of this day. You've made it. You've done great in a time of uncertainty. March 13th came. We had class the day before, and then you saw on the TV, schools were closed. Everything was closed. You were to stay home until further notice. Well, here we are in June, and we have to, we changed everything we did. The whole way of thinking, the whole world changed on that day. So you had, we had to do lessons from home. You had to go online. We did everything virtual, but you did it, and you made it through. So know that even in bad times, good comes from it. So I want all of you to know that when they open the doors and they turn on the lights, you will be able to go out there and many opportunities will be there for you. So you'll be able to take the skills that you learned here and go out there and apply them. And we all have great hope and know that you will go out there and be successful. So with that, I'm gonna play a song for you, a special song for the automotive class. Class of 2020, best of wishes, good luck, and congratulations. on making it through a very unusual year. I was so impressed with your ability to quickly adapt to the new learning platform of instruction this year. This reinforces not only to me, but to yourselves that you are ready for whatever lies before you in the future. Words cannot begin to express how proud of you I am. I was impressed with your hard work, dedication, and responsibility that you have all shown during this difficult time. Thank you for an amazing year. I wish you all the best with your future endeavors, and please remember that success is not always measured in what you accomplish, rather it is what you learn from the accomplishments that is truly important. Good luck and congratulations. Best of luck in the future.
Hey guys, Miss Weeks here. Um, I'd like to give my graduating seniors a big shout out. Um, so I'd like to wish um, Savannah, Bree B, Becca, Alyssa, Bree C, Lindsay, Jana, Megan, Aaliyah, Reba, Brody, and Alexis the best of luck in your future. Um, you're all such amazing students, and um, I'm going to miss you very much. So to the Child and Family Services class of 2020, and to all the Herkimer Bosis graduates, I wish you the very best in your future plans. In the words of Dr. Seuss, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. In the words of Miss Weeks, don't forget to come visit and always make time to have a little fun. <laughs> Bye guys. I wanted to take a few minutes to congratulate the Herkimer Bosis Conservation Class of 2020. I looked forward to meeting you the first day you walked into this class as quiet, timid juniors. This group did not stay quiet long, and you were a very open and honest group. I am glad I had the privilege to get to know each of you over the course of the two years together. Being in lab was a highlight of most of your days. Several weeks were spent learning duties and tasks that would prepare you for conservation-related work. I am proud of the hard work, dedication, and pride you took in each of the courses we covered while in lab. The stewardship and projects you continued, started, and finished will make a lasting impact on the future of this program. I thought it was only fitting to finish here. Much like climbing a mountain, we've had failures and success, and this year has shown us that it's not always easy, predictable, or comfortable. But you pull through and continue to work hard and you did it, you reached the top. Life will be filled with more hills to climb and different paths to take, but no matter what goals you set in life, I believe each and every one of you can obtain them. I'm sure you have people in your life that have helped you get here, possibly parents, siblings, family, friends, that you could thank and should thank, but I wanna finish by thanking you. Thank you for the impact you've had on me. If I had to describe this class in a one word, it would be selfless. You were all willing to help one another in the classroom or in lab, and we're always encouraging each other each day. A day usually didn't go by, even virtually, without one of you asking how my family was doing, how I was doing, or what I even ate for dinner that night. It has truly been an honor to be your teacher. Congratulations, Herkimer Bosi's Conservation Class of 2020. You did it, and you will be missed.
Hi girls, Mrs. Fisher and I just wanted to say congratulations. You made it. We're so proud of you and everything that you've accomplished during this difficult time and graduation is upon us. So um, take what you have learned and run with it because you guys have really overcome a lot of obstacles during this time. And again, we are very proud of you and want to congratulate you. seniors and the rest of the 2020 graduates. This year has been unconventional in more than one way. You have the entire world probably cheering you on during your graduation. I want you to remember the pride you felt wearing your uniforms in class, the accomplishments you've made in and out of the classroom, and the friendships you formed from kindergarten through your senior year. Today belongs to you, your family, and your friends as we congratulate you on your hard work and achievements as you enter the next stage in your lives. I want to leave you all with a saying, be strong when you are weak, be brave when you are scared, be humble when you are victorious, and be kind every day. Stay safe, everyone. Mrs. Regan. As you know, the world can change in a flip second. I want to congratulate Lily, Jesse, Ashley, Chelsea, Anna, Zoe, Brooke, Mark, Lexi, Kelly, and Jake. Well job done. Life brings different obstacles and you guys rose to the challenge in a way that nobody could ever imagine. Some of you might not wear this jacket, 
and some of you might. Either way, I want to prepare you for the next stage in your life. I want you to be prepared. So, presentation is everything. And we want to make sure you're ready for the next stage and phase of your life. Again, Mr. Morrow thanks you for being my students. You changed my life. I hope I changed yours. Take care. Be safe and healthy. We just want to say congratulations on your graduation and um, we know it's been a very challenging year but we're very proud of you and we know you always try your best um, in everything we've done for the last two years so congratulations i feel the same way guys i we, we've been through some good times some bad times some drama a lot of a lot of stuff has happened and you guys persevered um i have no doubt that you'll be successful in the future Congratulations and good luck to you all.
Congratulations, 2020 seniors. This is not how we wanted to end, but unfortunately it did. Good luck on your future endeavors, and if you ever need anything, um, just let us know. I just want to say congratulations, seniors. Good luck in your future, and if you ever need me, just give me a holler. What's up, ITA peeps? It is uh, Mr. Hunt here. I am super proud of everybody who has made it through this. I know it's been a really tough time uh, in the pandemic here, but I'm super happy to announce James Dowd, um, Tristan Reed, Louis Dulac, and Preston Vandenberg have all graduated from the ITA program. I'm super happy for you guys, and uh, I, I hope this little video, I know it's not super, super crazy, but I hope everybody uh, enjoys their graduation to the best of their ability. Good job, you guys worked hard for this, and uh, also big congratulations to the rest of the class of 2020. class. I just wanted to say that we finally made it through this long last couple months of online learning. Uh, I wanted to thank you all for your participation and your support through all of this. I know there were times when it wasn't the easiest, especially for those of you that have difficult internet access like myself. Uh, it's a little more meaningful to be able to say this stuff in person, but given our circumstances, that's not going to be the case this year, unfortunately. But uh, I wanted to let you know that you all did great. Uh, really can't say enough good about you guys. You were an awesome class. 
I wish you all the best of luck. I hope you can all keep in touch with me in the future and don't hesitate to reach out to me if you ever need anything at all. Uh, I can't stress that enough. You guys were a fun class. I really am going to miss you guys and I wish we got to go through the school year like we should have. I know a lot of you were got the short end of the stick with this year but uh, yeah please don't hesitate to stay in touch with me just look out for each other and uh, hopefully we'll see you sometime in the future but take care everybody your future path. I wish you good luck as you embark on the next phase in life, wherever that may take you. Your imagination makes you unlike anyone else, so use it and let it guide you in the direction to great things. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I know this is obviously not how we thought we were going to end the school year, but uh, I just want to give you guys a big shout out. Uh, you guys are an awesome group to, to, to have for two years. Um, you guys will all do very well. I'm very proud of all of you. You guys have all worked, really, worked hard to get to this point. Uh, just keep in mind that you know, you're headed into the world now and be safe. Take care of each other, and don't ever let a circumstance define who you are. Be safe, guys.
Congratulations to the class of 2020. It has been my honor and privilege to have had the opportunity to get to know each and every one of you over the past couple of years. I wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. Now go out there and create the life that you want. Hello, class of 2020. Uh, I'm so glad I got to meet all of you and be a part of your team of teachers here at BOCES. Uh, it's been so cool to see all of the hard work you've accomplished in your programs. Most importantly, all the real life, real world skills you've gained. I'm so glad you chose to come to BOCES and push yourself out of your comfort zone and gain real work experiences. It's put you way ahead of the game now that you are entering the world of work and adulthood. You should be so proud. Uh, I know it was not easy, and especially how you've stepped up and adapted during remote learning. Uh, you should be very proud of yourselves. From what I've seen, you have what it takes to overcome great obstacles and succeed. And I hope that you know that and that you take that knowledge and confidence with you into the future. So congratulations, good luck to you, and as I'm sure you know, the class of 2020 will never be forgotten. Congratulations, class of 2020. I need to modify that statement and sentiment and add congratulations, resilient class of 2020. Resilient meaning able to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. That indeed you have. All of you have been faced with discomfort and adversity these past months, witnessing history right before your eyes. And I believe some of our greatest accomplishments as human beings some of the greatest things in life are birthed out of discomfort. Last year, you stepped out of your comfort zones to face challenging CTE programs with students whom you didn't even know, and now very well might be your best friends. And you find yourself at the point of completing a two-year program in which I know to be challenging. It has honestly been an absolute joy to watch you grow as a person as well as a student over these past two years. I am extremely proud of you all. You should be extremely proud of yourselves as well. And I send you off with a quote from the author of Winnie the Pooh, A.A. A. Milnes. Sometimes children's book authors have the most simple wisdom. And the quote goes, promise me you will always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. If you can't promise me that, it's important to promise yourself. I know this to be true with working with you and seeing you overcome so many roadblocks along your way. Always believe in yourself. Again, I say congratulations, resilient class of 2020. Hello, class of 2020. Congratulations on your graduation and everything you have accomplished this year and throughout your four years at VP Tech. You should all be very proud of yourselves. As you enter adulthood, remember that the path to success won't be easy, but that the most difficult paths also tend to be the most worthwhile. So work hard, stay motivated. As a science teacher, I must also tell you to remain curious and find the time to do the things you love to do, no matter how busy you are. So good luck in the workforce, at college, and wherever life takes you. Hey guys, it's Mr. Carpenter. Congratulations on making it through. Your guys' first year in P-Tech was also my first year in P-Tech, so I feel like I'm sending my kids off to college. But now that you guys are officially adults, don't forget, I do sell real estate. So when you're ready to buy your first house, give me a call. Congratulations.
BP Tech Seniors of 2020. You guys are gonna be getting a lot of congratulations and well wishes, which are rightfully deserved. However, you are coming to a new crossroads in your life and as your teacher, I must ask you to make your decisions from here on out very carefully and very seriously. In saying that, I am very proud of you all and I wish you the best. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You made it. This is the time when we say goodbye and you start the next adventure in your life. So leave here and go and make a difference. Again, congratulations and all the best. Hey, B Tech Class 2020. As you can see, I am uh, still hard at work grading your final papers and getting all your final grades in. Congratulations, guys. You made it all the way through. Have a good life. Congratulations, VP Tech Seniors, class of 2020. I wish we could have ended this school year a little differently, but I know you guys will be doing amazing things in your future. I am so excited for you all. You should be very proud of yourself. This was an extraordinary end of a school year, and you did it. Congratulations. I will miss you. Please keep in touch. Welcome to BOCES, class of 2020. Congratulations, you've made it. There were times when we thought the year may not come to an end. Even though school closed, it seemed like the year seemed to drag on forever. And it changed us, I believe, all for the better, but definitely it changed us permanently. One of the things I wanted to share with you is a thought that was shared with me several years ago that I've had time to reflect on. And one person once said, a great wise man, that the greatest obstacle to learning is knowledge. You stop and think about that and how can that be? How can knowledge be a great obstacle to learning? But think of your own life. How many times have you sat in a classroom and thought to yourself, why am I sitting here? I know this already. How many times have your parents told you something, or a teacher, or a coach, and you answer with, I know, I know, I know, when you really don't? I find, I find myself doing that far too frequently, and I know I've done it many times in the past. This year was very different for me. Many times people would ask me questions, parents would call, teachers would have questions, the whole world seemed to be in chaos. And I had to quite simply say, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. I'll get back to you. I'll try to find out. But I realized in reflecting on this, that for me, this was the year where I had probably the most personal and professional growth of all the time I've spent in education. So my challenge to you as you go forward and, and out into the world and enter new jobs or start new academic careers, is it don't be afraid of saying, I don't know. Because once you say, I don't know, you open yourself up to learning new things. Again, congratulations on your accomplishments and I wish you nothing but the best. Take care and remember, you always have a family at Herkimer Boses.